number one Iron Age booty daddy. How is it that you have a quiet mind like that, but you're able to put the pen to the paper and get those ideas? Because I would like if you have, because I would imagine a lot of writers have like this idea, they have an imagination about it, and they kind of go forward with that. How does that work with you? So for me, like, uh, I think, how should I describe it? Like, basically, like I said before, it's mostly subconscious, but I grew up telling a lot of stories. I would tell like my younger brothers, I would tell them bedtime stories for like almost 10 years. And so just when I get an idea, I'll just kind of get the skeleton of an idea. And then sometimes I'll try and plan it out and plot it. And then I pretty much abandon that after a day or two. Cause I'm just like, Ugh, such a pain in the butt doing that. I'm just going to write. <laughs> and then I just pretty much write it. And it's kind of like, I've, like the story is almost telling itself. So I don't know exactly how to explain it, but as I'm writing, I'm just like, oh, this is what the character, what this character would do because of their personality is like this. And you asked me like, you asked me, you know, what's your character's favorite, favorite dish or something like that. I'll be like, I have no clue. If it's not on the page, I don't know it, but I know instinctually what should be on the page, if that makes sense, because it just so, is what flows well with the story. So is it safe to say that you're a discovery writer? Uh, I'm not sure what that is, but I'm... Well, it's kind of like, I, it's it's a nicer way of saying pantser, as in you don't necessarily do a lot of outlining. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Okay. Michael and I did an interview of long time ago actually for his uh echoes of memory um i did a review video of that and him and i sat down and talked and after that actually a couple of days after that i came to the conclusion that the best way to describe the way he writes is stream of consciousness um yeah basically literally. you sit down and just run through everything that's happening point to point to point to point to point in the scenes that that you're working on at the time you don't worry about what's coming next you don't worry about what you did at, did before it's just what's happening right now as you're writing it out on the page that's better than i could say it that is that's really cool cuz i i know the feeling of doing that but again, outside of that one time period in my life, I can't do that all that because I'm so I'm so bad that I will oh, like, I'll be talking with my wife and I will stop halfway through a sentence and like my mind will finish what I'm saying, but my mouth will shut up and I just I'll, I'll just stop and I don't mm -hmm. even know where I stop, but I will stop. And then in my mind, I have finished the conversation. I finished what I have said and I'm waiting for an answer and it, it happens really fast. And my wife is just sitting there going and, and I'm like, and what? And she goes, well, you just kind of trailed off. I'm like, no, I didn't. She goes, yes, you, you I like, I, I could not imagine just, just sitting down, putting the pen to the paper and just as the words flow, uh, putting that out on paper. That's actually really cool that I, I love learning about, I love learning about people and the different ways that people work like that, that just, I'm already happy with this interview. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> For me, it's like, I have a hard time imagining people. Like I know some writers and they'll write out of sequence. They'll just like write one scene and then they'll write another scene and then they'll write the end of the book and then they'll go back and write the start. I'm like, how could you possibly do that? Like, how could your brain go hard. like, bounce around like a bouncy ball like pew, pew 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 it just seems like i don't that's the one for me i, I can't even imagine i like bullet points personally <laughs> i like to know where oh, i'm gonna I, start on. i like to bullet point where i'm gonna end and i want to have something in the middle and then everything else in like the middle of that is uh like freeform right mm -hmm. 
but I at least want to kind of know the dots that I need to kind of connect to yep. um, to make the story cohesive. And I think, and for me, and I actually structure videos that way. You know, um, usually when I, I make a good point in a video, <laughs> I, that's usually how I'm like, how am I going to start? Uh, where's my ending point? And usually, usually I know my point before I even do the video. And that's, that's my ending, right? That's the, that's the whole thing that I want to get to. And then I kind of sit there and I'll actually come up with my middle point that for me, the start is the hardest part. Um, how is that for you? What's what it like, obviously is the start the easiest part for you? Is it as you write more, it gets easier as you write more, it gets harder. How does all of that work? Uh, usually whatever point I'm writing at is the easiest point for me. Except for the blurb, like the back cover blurb. That will always be the hardest. Blurbs are there hard. You go. There you go. But yeah, usually like starting works is pretty easy. And I don't know. It's just wherever I'm at is the easiest point for me. It's except for like I kind of do what you do with, you know, the point and the point like the bullet points. I do that, but probably much less structured than you do. Uh, for me, Don't. usually I'll just kind of have the overarching idea and then maybe a kind of idea of the ending, and that's about it. So that, usually I just have a concept, like my sleeper yeah. agent books. I, I just one day I was like thinking of the term sleeper agent, I was like, That'd be cool if the like sleeper agent sounds like a cool name for a book. I should write that. And I was like, <laughs> what would a, a good story with sleeper agent be? And then I was like, what if it's about a dude when he sleeps, he can see through the eyes of people who are awake. And then it just kind of yeah. came from there. Thank you so much for checking out this clip from Iron Age Nights. We go live every single Friday at 8 p.m. Central. Our goal is to bring to you the storytellers who are building and creating culture, trying to get away from what the mainstream corporations have subjected us to for so many years now. It would be so awesome if you would like this video and subscribe to the channel if you liked this conversation. And never forget to join us like I said, on Friday nights. And until next time, cheers, everybody.